Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Elder Kings for CK2. Yes, we've succeeded in killing this stupid woman. Now we can declare war on her heir. No! Oh no! The guy that had this land inherited it. <laughs> now we need to kill him too. That's fine, it shouldn't be too hard because he just inherited short reign penalty and all. So let's try it. Meanwhile, we're having a feast. We'll spend lavishly, I guess. Why not? Come to my damn feast. And we're low on money. I need money. Pay me! Give me money, people. We need, um... Feudal taxation to maximum. Nice! Acclaim! My liege! My work has come to fruition. Yeah, let's, we're going to attack this guy down here, too. Who has all of 3,000 men. We have 11,000 Daedra and like 6,000 regu regular guys. Okay, boats. Uh, we could actually have more boats. No, we can't. Never mind. We can only have 35. But let's take those 35. Let's go pick up some Daedra. The other thing that's great about these host armies is their standing army. Alright, we need to cast Transmute. Multiple times. Try to get some some sort of a fortune being built up, built up again. New ambition? Nope. Nothing fancy. Experience is kind of cool. Morale damage and some stuff. New great house, who cares? Doesn't matter to me. Yes, kill him! I have a grandson already. Goodness gracious. Holy crap. So... Wait a minute. So my firstborn son has a, has a son who came out quick. That's good. As the birth, the lady birth sign. And a son was born to high king... Oh, my son. I have, I have a third son who came out attractive. Interesting. They practically share the same birthday. Let's see what it was. Born 22 of Frostfall. And 13 of Frostfall, like a week apart. Success! Okay, looks like we're attacking this guy first then. Declare war, conquest. Uh, let's take this one. I want to border more stuff. And we should already be leading troops. Excellent. In fact, we have such an advantage. Why don't we just split, 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 and then go one, two, three, four. Just fan out while we wait for the boats to come together so we can go attack this guy. Money! We're back up to 15 Magicka. And we have 30! Nice. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to transmute a few times because I'm worried about getting in a position where I have no Magicka and I have no money, and I can't get more money. But still, it's not going to be too much longer as our income goes up. How do our vassals feel about us? Ooh, I'm dishonorable. Nice. I am known to be untrustworthy and unreliable. Oh, I think I'm, I'm very reliable. I will reliably kill everyone. Can we get rid of that somehow? Most of our vassals are still very happy with us, though. I'm considering changing laws. I mean, like, feudal taxation would be pretty nice. There's so many people that are, like, way more happy with us than they really need to be. History, of course, shows that uh, Eleanor was a, a very aggressive culture of elves that just constantly attacked their neighbors at all costs. Must expand. Like a plague. The dangerous Daedra host armies just spread among spread among the land.
Get him. Are we in charge of one of these? Let's just make sure that we are. We might end up with a flank that uh, doesn't have a leader, which would be bad. But there we are, courageous <laughs> against this Bosmer elves. Yes, ransom. Give us money. Transmute. All right, good. Now we've got a nice little buffer. A little bit of money. Let's try to cast the host again. Nice, we captured another countess. Is that the same one? I think it was. Here, we'll send you some money. Okay, thank you for surrendering. We appreciate it. I think we actually just attack this guy because we're right next to him. We'll attack the other guy soon. I don't think our claim's going to go away anytime since we, we basically get to live forever, which is awesome. Let's just put a lot of pressure here. Did your host? Daedric Host. Excellent! Oh, it's only 1,600 troops. Why? I guess maybe there's a random factor. I liked it when it was 3,000. Conquest must grow. Give me my lands. Oh wow, did you just take over even more land? Hmm. Look what I found, your child says one day, holding up a rather scruffy, mangy-looking feline to your face, the smell of fish breath strong upon the air. Apparently, while wandering this, the estate's grounds, your young child came across a stray cat. Can I keep it? They ask excitedly. Of course you can, young one. My heir... <laughs> Wait, what? My heir... My 39-year-old is considered a young child. Can I keep it? He asks excitedly. <laughs> of course you can. The cat gives him some diplomacy. Or I can say, no way, look at that filthy thing. Sure, my son. Enjoy your cat. Can I keep it, Dada? Please! I want it! Now come lead trips with me, and don't talk about the cat. Get him. We're coming for you. Yeah. We found you. And we beat you up. Okay. Nice, we actually had enough money to do that. Sweet. Let's transmute a few times. Get a nice little stockpile built up again. Can we change laws yet? Come on, harsh feudal taxes. Let's just see how many people we can piss off. There's some factions already. It's gonna get it's gonna get a little dicey here. My liege, while surveying Sea Waste in Waston, I have discovered a cache of buried treasure. You have a chance of receiving a random artifact if you do not currently have one. Please give me an artifact. I want a weapon. He surrenders. Thank you. So that's the guy that we just attacked. That means that we can attack you. And we own this land ourselves. These duchies are very, very expensive to usurp. And somebody mentioned in the comments it's likely tied to your, your favor, which is why it's so costly for me. Which is fine, we just won't usurp it. We'll just keep them for ourselves. It's fine. Supply limits are surprisingly low here. Highway robber bands. I really like this music, it's great. 
Uh, summon nature. Excellent! 5% chance to become ambitious. Oh shoot, I clicked the wrong button. I meant a danger coast. Damn it! Darn, that one actually prevents us from doing this one. That's annoying. It's a dumb misclick. I guess we're on to transmutes for a while then. Come on, vote for my law. Hey now, you can't both be called Elden Root. <laughs> I'm Elden Root. No, I'm Elden Root. No, I'm Elden Root. It's actually these these two are these are the same, but it's still funny. So you got a guy who owns the county of Elden Root, who's just a count, and then the guy who's the Duke of Elden Root, so he they both call themselves Elden Root. It's pretty comical. Thank you, it's mine now. I'm Elden Root, actually. So I'm just basically conquering as many people as I can. Anyone that's within range. You have to border them to have that, that CB. Can we murder you? Yes, we can! Please tell me you're on Gavilkind Succession. He is! And he has three children. It's, uh... Agnetic Cognatic. Two daughters. Good, that'll, that'll make two heirs, which means we can attack two people at once. And I do need to remember to go down to this island. Because we need that. It's important. You better stop it. Well, you seem like someone we should probably just send some money to. So this is, um, people are in factions and we haven't even successfully changed the law yet, so perhaps we shouldn't do that. Okay, so we're over our domain limit. We need to get rid of this land. I don't actually want any of this land, I just... Well, I mean, I do. So we want either gender, who are not in prison, who are any marriage, who are not rulers. Yes, 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 and no. Store by high stewardship so they can hopefully convert the land. And let's just make sure that they're all are all Altmers that believe in the same religion that we do. Which I believe that they will. I don't think there are any uh, any heresies. Oh goodness, I've forgotten how to play this game. Now, why am I not allowed to give you land? Why are these women not allowed to hold titles? That's interesting. Agnetic Cognetic. Perhaps we try to change this at some point. I don't know. I guess we get rid of the women then. For some reason, women are not, not eligible. Okay. That's those. I have a strong son now. So, this woman has given me an attractive and a strong son. I'm probably the reason why it's an attractive son, but, you know. Do, 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 do. Okay, so while we're waiting for that plot to fire. Perhaps we can attack you again. Nope, we have our truce. We're going to need to kill her. Let's go to here, and let's go attack the island to the south. He has a whopping 4,000 men. Oh, just barely over the ship limit. Yikes. Glass deposits. Cool. About to kill that double, that triple count. Alright, let's go for it. I think we can handle him. Let's just declare war. That land's mine. It's my birthright. You know that. Get out of here. Good but bad. Uh-oh. Are we doubly dishonorable? 
Does it stack? No, interestingly, Dishonorable's not on here. Oh, just first Dishonorable. I don't know. Doesn't seem to stack. Doesn't seem to be a really big, big problem. But yes, this is my birthright. Everyone knows it. Give me my land. I think we can win just by hanging out here. Pretty sure it's, uh... Yeah, it's mountains. We got good commanders fighting in the mountains. We're gonna be fine. And then we'll just sit on the war goal. And this will be what we use to get into this kingdom. Payandonia. Planes, planes, planes. Mm, he is bringing his army, so let's just let's just actually land the entire troop here and just keep it there. Are we? Yeah, we still have our commanders. No. Me, you, my son. Then we just hang out there until he decides to surrender. We'll get our ticking war score, and he'll give up soon. And if that plot succeeds, oh, looks like. Fallon SD took that from him. Okay, cool. Well, we're expanding rapidly. I'm going to take a break here, though. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.